Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Here's a quick guide on how to complete Aphelion's Rest, Lost Sector, Solo and Flawless on Legendary Difficulty. Timestamps are in the description below. This Lost Sector can be found in the Dreaming City. Spawn in the Davilian Mists and head to the opposite side of the map. On the right side is a tunnel that leads to the Strand area. Once there, travel to the opposite side of the map where you will find an island. On the other side at the bottom is the Lost Sector entrance. Remember, if there isn't a flag outside of a sector, you will first need to complete it normally in order to unlock the higher difficulties. This sector contains overloads and unstoppables. The threat is stasis and there are quite a few void shields. During the recording of this video, the search was arc and strand. That might be different for you. The surges are on a weekly rotation, so always double check what the surges are and match a subclass or weapons to the same element to deal extra damage. Moving on to loadouts. For this, I'm using my Warlock Strand for Ad Clear and Shackle Grenades for Champs. I am combining it with Necrotic Grips to spread poison. For weapons, I ran a Riptide for stunning on Star Balls, along with a Void Scout for stunning overloads and for Void Shields. Finally, I had a Heavy Linear for DPS. Now onto mods starting with a class item. Run any of the mods for help reduce your ability cooldowns when using different abilities or time dilation to help collect nearby orbs. You could also run the Moss Proximity Ward and Healthy Finisher to get your health back along with an Overshield when performing a Finisher. For Leg Armor, you can run mods for help with your ability regen when picking up Orbs of Power. You could also run Scavenger Moss to pick up additional ammunition when picking up Ammo Bricks. On your Chest Armor, run a Concussive Dampener to help reduce incoming damage from the Overload attacks. You could also run a Solar Resist mod because the end boss throws fire at you. For Gauntlets, run any mods that boost your ability regen or create Orbs of Power. Finally, for the helmet, I suggest you have a heavy ammo finder mod on, along with some ashes to assets to get a super back on grenade kills or hands on for melee kills. This is what I used, so either copy it or use it as a template to make your own. You do not need the same weapons, armor, subclasses, or even mods as me to complete this lost sector. With that out of the way, let's get straight into it. When you spawn in, rotate the rock in front of you and use it for cover to take out the taken thrall, and once cleared, a second wave will spawn. You want to then use that area along the wall to your left for cover. Kill as many Thrall around the corner to your left as possible, but ideally, you want to lure the unstop that is around the corner away from the rest of the ads for an easier kill. Then simply clear out the rest of the Thrall and begin to push up to the next area. You will begin to encounter Void Shields here along with Stasis Pools and Scions. There is an unstop and an overload on the top ledge around the corner to the left, so dispatch some of the Scions around the area first. Then rotate the tree on the right side and use that for cover against the overload. You want to leave it for last because each time you try to kill it, the Scions will get in the way. So instead, you want to draw the Unstop away from the adds first. Use the tree for cover or even lure the Unstop all the way to the back of the cave. Once dealt with, take care of the Scions and make sure you don't leave any alive because they will duplicate. There is the tree and plenty of rocks here for cover. This will leave the Overload on the ledge on its own where you can easily dispatch it. Remember that once the Overload comes out of its stun, you need to begin stunning it again, otherwise you will waste ammo. You are now in the boss room. There will be plenty of thrall here along with Scions to so use the rock on the left side at the top of a ramp for cover. There will also be an overload and some acolytes at the back. Now you have two options here. If you kill all the adds and leave the overload for last, the boss will spawn in along with additional reinforcements. It is easier to kill the adds and leave one acolyte at the back alive so that you can get rid of the overload first. As you can see, I left the overload alive and he proved to be a nuisance. Regardless of the choices, continue to use the same rock for cover and clear the adds first. Once done, then damage the boss and be careful of the fire. You can even use the left side of the rock for cover if that is easier for you. If you decided to leave the overload alive, then kill the boss first. You can then deal the overload afterwards and still get platinum. And there you have it, that is how you complete Aphelion's Rest, solo and flawlessly on legendary difficulty. If you have found the guide to be helpful, then please like, share and post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Destiny 2 guides. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.